What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Joe, I'm back at you with another video. <clears throat> so I was hesitant on making this video, um, but I think it is something that I want to talk about and want to discuss with you guys. Um, I'm always open to discussion. And no matter where you sit on the political standpoint, I do think it is important to listen to both sides of the story. Um, so I want to talk to you guys and talk about what the term real America is like what is real America because I was listening I was watching uh one of my favorite speakers his name is Gavin McInnes um now I do not agree with everything that, that man says but I do agree with a lot of the stuff that man says um he was saying something to the effect of Oh, well, in Real America, a Real America voted, and he was on, I believe it was CNN, or he was on or MSNBC, I think, and the lady on there was like, okay, can we stop with this whole term of Real America because all America is real? Okay, duh. He's not saying that if you live in, if you live, if you're a millionaire that, and you live in America, born and raised in America, or whatever, that you're not a real American. Okay, that's not what he's saying. Okay, he's not denying that you are not an American. Okay, he's not denying that. But people who live in big cities like Charlotte, Denver, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, Boston, Las Vegas, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., Seattle, you know... Houston, whatever. He's not discrediting that that they are not real Americans. He's not discrediting them at all. In fact, in fact, a lot of people who live in them are good American citizens. Now, with that being said, if you live in those cities and you grew up and you've never been outside those cities, then you don't know exactly what real America is all about. Okay? You don't know what that is. You don't know what it means to basically live paycheck to paycheck. Most, not saying all of you, I'm saying a lot of them, okay? Because first of all, you gotta have over half a million dollars to even live comfortably in in a big city like that. And I'm not saying over half a million dollars, I'm saying over, like that's your salary for the year, is, half, is over half a million dollars, okay? You gotta have that much to live in a city like that, okay? I'm talking about the people who are everyday working, like average Joes going about their lives. People who work like eight to five jobs and make about 4000 give or take, a month. Okay? People who don't make that much. People who make less than 50000 a year. Okay? The middle class. The middle, the lower middle class. And even the low class. Or whatever you call them. Those people are the real Americans. Okay? I would say middle class makes up about 65 to 70% of the population. Now, if I'm wrong, please tell me. But that's what I see, is that middle class makes up about 70% of the population. Okay, let's just, let's average it out. 68.5 or 67.5, somewhere in there. It's about how much of the percentage of the world, or the U.S., let's just look at the U.S., is middle class. Lower class, in my opinion, makes up about 15-20%. So you have all these people who are like millionaires, who are rich. You got to include all the celebrities, all the, all the big TV people, okay? And all the business owners and all the higher-ups in businesses like that. And all the government people. That's about 10% of the population. Those are the people who are in the limelight. Those are the people who don't know what it's like to be down here with us. You want to know what real America is? Real America is someone, is a family who, it's a mom and dad, or maybe just a single parent, okay? But I'm going to stay with two parents because that was my original narrative. It's a mom and dad who has three, four kids who together make up about... Um, a month, let's just, let's, let's, let's be generous and say 7,000 at most a month. Okay. They live in a small town about roughly around 5,000 people. 
They own two cars. Their kids go to school. They don't they don't work on food stamps or they or they don't live on food stamps or welfare, but they but they probably could because they don't make enough. Real America is that. That's real America. Real America is people who go out there, who support their police, who support their firemen, who support their first responders of any kind, who support their military. Maybe one of them was former military or has family that was former military. Their kids come home from school beat up because, just, just because. Their, they, their kids don't, don't go to a private school. Their kids, their kids have at most four or five close friends. They themselves have four or five close friends. You want to know what real America is? Get out of the big city. Go to a small town like that. Walk around. Look around. Drive your freaking uh, BMW or uh, Mazda or um, 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 Mercedes down the street. You won't see that. You'll see pickup trucks. You'll see normal looking sedans. You won't see these big things. When you get out of the, when you get out of your car, you won't have paparazzi following you around. You'll have people staring at you because they may, because they might have seen you. Okay. That's real America. So don't sit there and tell me that every other person that you're born and raised in America is, or whatever, or, or, or all of America is real America because it's not, it's not real America. The Midwest, go to Nebraska, Kansas, go to um, Oklahoma, go to Arkansas, Louisiana, go to Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, North, South Dakota, the Midwest, go to uh, Northwest Florida, go to, go to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, okay? Not these New York, Boston, LA, Seattle, Charlotte, all these big cities, and you think that you know what real America is, you don't know what real America is. You don't know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck. You don't know what it's like coming home from school, crying because you got beat up, because some bully thinks that you live the high life when you know that you're still living paycheck to paycheck just because your parents sacrificed one month of their pay to give you the present you wanted. For those of you out there who who do know what that is, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who know what it's like to barely make it in this month's mortgage payment. Those of you who know what it's like to not have a phone because you can't afford it until you're 14 years old. Okay? So that lady on that news or that talk show or whatever who says that all America is real America, sure, it's part of America. That's not real America. I want you to know something. Those of us in real America who know what it's like, know good and well that you don't care about us. You don't. Which is why Trump won. Because he, because he cared about the middle class. He cared about the real Americans. He cared about us. Hillary Clinton didn't care. All she was doing was pushing an agenda. And real America saw right through it. So, God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.